welcome to No Movies in Hell. I'm Chris Geiger. I'm a floss dog. And today we are reviewing Long Legs. Nicholas Cage. Wow. Nicholas Cage. I like this movie a lot. It was better than I thought it would be. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that it was it was a very interesting like horror. It was I don't know. It's I wouldn't I would classify it as horror. However, I do think that it was more murder mystery elements to it. And so it was kind of like, and, and that's what I like. You, you, you have a captive audience. It draws attention. You have these different characters. And, you know, obviously Nicolas Cage is long legs. They just kind of come out and, you know, and say that even in the trailers or in, and in print and advertising. And that's only like scratching the surface. So it, was really uh it really really like drew me in and uh and yeah i think this is a classic movie i i would classify it as horror even though i do think it i would make it a thriller except sorry this is a spoiler um except for the supernatural element mm. to it that's to me what tips it over into the horror genre um versus thriller but that was also unexpected. I wasn't, I was thinking that this was going to be straight up serial killer crime sort of manhunt um, because they're not, yeah, in the trailer, they don't really hide from you, like who we're looking for. Yep. Like very explicit. So it's kind of like, oh, what's the point of the movie if this? And it's like, oh, you need to figure out how this person was doing it. Right. And I, I don't still think I know how. Yeah. I mean, there is that supernatural piece, but also it's like very psychological as well. Right. Um, which kind of blurs the line of, you know, um, that supernatural element because it's something that, you know, is, I guess, part of childhood, part of growing up, but also there's so many other, cogn- I guess, cognitations um, that come with, adolescents growing up and also you know kind of like who is in on this and how do they know this information which was something that I instantly thought of when you started going through kind of the methodology of uh the madness and in what was happening right and also as I was as we were getting closer to the end of the movie it it didn't really I kind of didn't understand why it seemed overly complex at a certain point where it was like well now we're like we're looking we're tr- we're finding clues we're thinking about the birthdays of these yeah. girls and like but that doesn't really seem to have anything like to what end are we like it's, right. just, it's pretty pattern on the, like what does it that, mean right like let's talk about is it micah monroe I've never heard her name verbalized, I guess. (laughs) Well, let's go with Micah. Okay. I saw her in, was it Watchers? Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, Did you see that? Actually, I did. I ended up watching that maybe the day after I saw Long Legs. So maybe we could review that because I know I missed it in the theater, but it's on Hulu now. Okay. I did see it in the theater. Uh, I, I mean, we could do a separate overview of that but in this movie i felt like sh- her performance for the most part was relatively wooden oh yeah yes 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 um but i thought she did a very good job emoting when like she had the opportunity to i don't know if that was like the direction like don't show any emotion or be I, almost, like almost overly deadpan yeah i really appreciated it it was very much like she was very very like uh, straightforward because it was like, hey, she is wanted to be in the FBI and she just kind of shut down her emotions. And then the, when she did show emotion, it was very much like, like, do I have to? Like her boss saying, hey, um, come out for a drink uh, and or come by my house and meet my family. And she's like, do I have to? And you never hear a, a character say that, but you always think that um, as an individual, if somebody's like, hey, let's hang out. And it's like, no, I actually just want stay laser focused and figure out who's you know committing these murders like actually like do my job and 
it's interesting because, you know, she lives in very much like isolation and it's clearly, it's clear that like the killer, you know, is in her circle. And at some points in the movie, I was just kind of like, oh, I wonder if she's involved at all. Um, And because of her demeanor and because you learn more and spoiler alert, you know, before she gets into the FBI, she mentions that she was trying to be an actress. So I was like, oh, this is interesting. Like, why would you, you know, make a hard pivot on your career? Um, And all these clues that are being dropped and all the shots that are in the movie. I mean, I I thought that it was was really, really interesting from an artistic direction. And I really like that. Nicolas Cage was good and crazy and all the things that you want Nicolas Cage to be. So perhaps on that, but I thought, well, we can go to the slides. This is going to segue into, I thought the hair and makeup was very good. Yes. For, um, I forgot what I, what score I gave it, but, uh, for the nineties, it being set in the nineties and then it being like, ah, the weird, like glam rock, but then also kind of that, beige pale like kind of colorless area and also for the fact i think it's in the pacific northwest and not like the midwest Mm -hmm. like it's very um like it's it's very interesting in terms of the topography and the the environment and i love seeing that in in film Mm -hmm. um but the fact that they adopted like it was you know it was in the 90s but all the all the homes and things were like 70s decor which would have been like a throwback and like that those wooden panels inside the homes and like the dilapidated buildings and um you know all these things that are leading up to essentially like this and figuring out who's murdering these families 23 and 26.5 yeah. So acting, we both gave it a three. Cinematography, you did three. Costumes, you did three. I did hair and makeup. Did. We reversed on that. Yeah. Um, production quality, creator's choice, we both did three. Story, you give it a little bit more. Soundtrack, I think I, from the story perspective, it was better than I thought in some ways, but also it just seemed like they threw in a bunch of stuff that didn't need to be there. I think everything pretty much came together for me it was it was just like there were some loose ends but nothing that could like i would say it was 95 percent pretty much buttoned up um and and i think it's like worth a rewatch because there are certain things that like maybe you know kind of glossed over or were in the background and just not really given enough attention that came to light, you know, later on. Do you have anything to promote in this episode? Um, I thought this movie was great and I want to see all these actors and things like Blair Underwood um, did an amazing job. Yeah. I mean, I was just, uh, you know, gosh, Nicolas Cage and his makeup and when they show his, you know, his face alicia witt um was amazing like everything (laughs) was fabulous um (laughs) yeah i haven't seen blair underwood in anything in a very long time same i think it's like television okay okay and not excuse me necessarily a film but um the i you know i feel like this is this summer is going to be very decent for a lot of independent films including like Maxine we got Trap um coming up Deadpool there are a number of still like really great films coming out so it's good yeah how about you um what are you looking forward to well I have a ton of stuff in terms of like things I'm looking forward to um I am gonna try make a second attempt to see Seven Samurai this weekend um because I was thwarted last time but uh, I, I'm, I'm very confident this time I'm going to make it. I do want to do a shout out to the online female film critics. 
who have accepted us into their ranks. And so now we are listed on their website. Um, so I'll put a link to that site um, in the description below. So um, check them out if you have a chance. And that's it for me this week, I think. So we made it. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.